And I saw a tweet, I don't know how genuine uh, the tweet is, where a northerner said if the Igbos fail to accept the northerners that there will be war in Nigeria. <laughs> hey, to whoever made that tweet, I think first of all I'd like to congratulate you for being the most stupid person in Nigeria, you know. So according to the Nigerian government, it's okay to build IDP camps all over the southeast, but it's not okay to give them seaport, right? They asked for a seaport, but no, let's give them IDPs because that is what they need right now. Because that is what is going to develop their region. Because that is what is going to, you know, help the people from the southeast. IDP. His headache is to make sure that those people are trained. As Nigeria continues to grapple with economic challenges, such skills acquisition, if harnessed, will help to take care of such vulnerable individuals in the country. Prince Uba. So, the Nigerian government built an IDP in the university premises, you know. I still don't understand how that initially is going to work. Where you build a place for people who are internally displaced within a university premises. And according to them, the university will you know, have access to the same facility that the internally displaced people would actually, you know, use. According to UN Refugee Agency, Nigeria is home for over 85,000 refugees and asylum seekers. About 3.3 million people are living in internally displaced camps as a result of conflict and violence at the end of 2023. The country is still rated among the 10 countries with the largest number of IDPs globally. So let's check what he has done. Worried by this increasing trend, the federal government is making efforts to begin training of these vulnerable people in acquiring skills to reduce unemployment. The National Commissioner for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons and his team are here on an inspection of this facility located inside the National Open University of Nigeria Study Center at Enso, a member of local government area of Imo State. We in the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons, we have what we call arrangement for the preparation of our concerned people in order to provide for them training of different uh, trades. Here we are today. Federal Commissioner with his team is satisfied with the facilities as they believe the training will add value to the vulnerable persons, lifting them out of poverty. We have gone around the building. It is okay for our, for our use. It is okay for what we intend to do. Because in the buildings, you can have uh, a lot of uh, laboratories where not only the people of concern, including the students around this area, will use, will, will make use of it. More than 75% of our population is under 30 years. So majority, that means more than 75% of our displaced persons, refugees, more than 75% of them, they are also under 30 years. So the thing is, the Federal Commissioner is saying his headache is to make sure that those people are trained as Nigeria continues to grapple with economic challenges, such skills acquisition, if harnessed, will help to take care of such vulnerable individuals in the country. Prince Uba. I'm not so smart, but how is it going to work that people who barely, you know, have any education or people who don't even have a place to call a home would share the same facility with students? <laughs> So something happened, I think, yesterday, where the said property 
was burnt or should I say was raised down. They burnt it. And who did it? The Biafran Liberation Fighters. Because they say, we don't want Boko Haram on our land. And can you disagree with their, you know, decision? I'm not in a position to speak for them, but let's have this conversation. Why do you want to move people from the north to the southeast? That is nearly 1,000 kilometers away from their home. Are you saying you don't have a space within the northern part of Nigeria where you can, you know, build these facilities and keep people? They even consider, you know, their own region not to be part of Nigeria right now. So now you want to move people from northern Nigeria to their region. People who don't speak the same language, who, who literally don't have the same religion or the same culture as them. And you want them to just embrace them. I don't think that is possible. I think the Nigerian government has, at this time needs, you know, to apply wisdom or to apply knowledge to whatever they are doing because right now that is you know a sloppy move right now that is a very stupid move that is you trying to cause havoc because you know that these people will never accept you bringing people from the north to the southeast yet you are you know you are bold enough you went ahead to build these facilities and you are willing to bring in thousands of people come on guys come on and i saw a tweet i don't know how genuine uh the tweet is where a northerner said if the eagles fail to accept the northerners that there will be war in nigeria <laughs> hey to whoever made that tweet i think first of all i'd like to congratulate you for being the most stupid person in nigeria you know i would like you to hand over an award to you a bimbo award because this war you are willing to fight is you know is a war that you've lost already these people you are willing to go to war with are saying we don't want to be part of nigeria no more and you think they care if you Oh my god. Look, I don't know what to say right now. I'm just kind of I'm pissed. Because to be sincere, let's take a look at Nigeria today. In the old Nigeria, the only section where its men are not, you know, violating and not disturbing is the southeast. And why? Because they don't just talk. When you touch one of them, they touch ten of yours. Look what ex men are doing in southwest Nigeria. They go to the farms, they machete people, and you know, they walk free. Now imagine what will happen if you take all these people from this from the north to the southeast. And what will happen if they arm one Igbo person? You want to put hundreds or thousands of lives at risk Nigerian government right now I don't know who's running this country but if you are going to run this country to the ground you are going to burn it in no time <laughs> so according to the Nigerian government it's okay to build IDP camps all over the southeast but it's not okay to give them seaport right they asked for a seaport but no let's give them idps because that is what they need right now because that is what is going to develop their region because that is what is going to you know help the people from the southeast idp the government representative said it's going to help people you know acquire skills you know skills acquisition what happened to them acquiring these skills in the northern part of nigeria the last time i checked they needed these skills most. Why bring the whole thing to the southeast? A thousand kilometers away. How does that even make sense? 
and you just want them to embrace you you want them to accept that you are bringing hundreds and thousands of people from the north to the southeast you guys are jokers 